Welcome back, Tater Tots, to the channel for another new episode of the Solar System Legacy Challenge, and this is episode 27. So we are here out at the Blue Oracle Club, and Vance was invited out by Vincent, and basically having a boys' night out. I mean, look at this, guys. Is this not it's so cute? <laughs> I love this so much. I mean, you've got all the brothers and, of course, dear old dad. And they're all just teasing Vance and embarrassing him, reminding him of some things from high school. And just like, man, can you believe that you used to do that? And Vincent is loving this. And Victor, he's looking so smug. He's like, yeah, you were a total jerk to me. And Daryl's just like, ah, oh, seeing all my boys together. And it is seriously just precious. I love this. And they're having a drink at the bar together. And I did have Vance buy everybody a, oh gosh, a what if, fib, a what if Tabor? What a tape. I don't know. I can't even, <laughs> I'm, I shouldn't hurt myself trying to pronounce that. But, oh, and there's a girl coming to the bar, Ruby Fang. Interesting. And so it looks like everybody's coming over for drinks in general. Who's this guy? Gideon Harris. And this is Myra Johnson. Oh, Dion. I don't even know who that is. So I have honestly never done this before in The Sims 4. So that's what I'm going to have happen here. So we're going to play some Juice Pong. And Vance is going to go up against his brothers, Victor and Vincent. Let's see who can take this. All right, guys, here we go. Oh, come on, Vance. You're already drunk. Already. Look at v Victor's face. Or not Victor. <laughs> Benson's face. He's like, you're kidding me, right? He's like, bro, you suck. I got this. All right. Come on. Let's see what we got. Okay, Victor. Let's, let's see your game. Bring on your game face. What is happening? Why does he have a bunch of, like, water? <laughs> coming out of him. Is he just sweating to death because he's so nervous about playing this game? And there goes Vance, missing again. He is not good at this game. Oh my gosh, Victor is really good at this game. He just keeps walking away like, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But I should probably end their game, even though we all know that Victor is definitely Victor, because Vance is too drunk to do anything. I mean, look at the circles under his eyes. The dude is not doing well. So I don't remember if I told you guys, but in the last episode at the end, I did take Sarah out of our household just because now we have the baby and we were able to name it and all of that. Plus, they are not going to live together by any means. And so, yeah, she just visits, I guess, from time to time is kind of how we're doing things. So, of course, poor Vance is dealing with everything on his own right now. And we've got to get him to finish eating because he's had a long night. Wow, Eden is very energized, as are most of the boys, which is actually quite impressive. So, oh, and little Eve, she's doing well. Look at her. Oh, she's so happy and smiley. And our house is a mess. Obviously, we've had some kids, um, you know, take the liberty of dirtying up the place. But anyways, it is super late. I need to get the kids ready for school. Well, mostly Eden. And I will see you guys later. It is a beautiful Tuesday morning and Vance is starting off the day before heading off to work by doing a nice good jog and it looks like it is a bit chilly but you know he's going to work up a sweat during his jog. So Eden has also finished her homework and Vance helped her out with it this morning. But I was thinking maybe while we're out here we could also have Vance maybe do some photography because some of this would be really beautiful I think. So if we have him just go here and then we can have him take a photo because we got to work on that skill. And this is a beautiful shot. So let's see, we'll do some filters, some different lighting. That kind of looks like a morning lighting and a sunset. Ooh, that's way too bright. Ooh, that one's pretty. Okay, that's a little more vintagey and antique. And then let's see, maybe have him come over maybe over here I think this would be a really good shot too let's have him jog here this is another gorgeous shot guys <gasps> I love this we're so close to getting his next photography skill and I really want to hit it all right guys have a sim reach max level in the photography oh we already reached the max level achievement picture perfect wait what I thought that the photography skill had 10 levels like all the rest of them. I had no idea that 
it only had five. Well, that changes a lot of things. Like, oh my gosh, guys, we already completed that part of his goals. And it looks like he is over here chatting with this guy. Who is this? Darwin Torres playing in the leaves. He's just trying to have a conversation. But anyways, clean air. There's nothing quite like breathing in some crisp, clean air. Great teacher. Interesting. So what is he like teaching this guy about photography? Who knows? I can't believe we already hit that though. Like my mind is like blown. All right, guys. So checking out where we're at as, as in regards to goals for generation two for Venus. So we are supposed to have at least four children, which now we do have four children, which I think is awesome. And we have to have one or more of our siblings be your best friend, which we have Victor. And then never have any close friends other than your family last more than a week, which the only close friends we have are our family. Visit your parents or have your parents over at least once a week, which we've also been doing that. Never complete a career to level 10, which we're not doing that. So we are good there. Master the photography skill. We just completed that. Complete the mansion Baron aspiration. We have also done that. And... I think that's it. Oh, and have at least six romantic relationships. So how many have we had? Honestly, we have had, let me see here. Um, so we've got Sarah and of course we had Maya and then we had Melissa and Janessa. So we need two more, I believe. Oh, Nicolette. Hey, Vance, Quentin Fabulous has asked me out on a date. Should I say yes? Do what your heart tells you. Um, so I think we still need to have two more. And were we interested in Nicolette? I don't remember. Oh, that's right. He can't look at it when he's at work. So we'll have to wait till after. Vance has come home from work and paid the bills. And he is feeling flirty. It says, remembering first woohoo was something worth remembering. And so, yeah, um, I remember his first woohoo was with um, someone who was married, so, <laughs> but I guess it was good. So that all works out. But he has been trying to take care of these kiddos since he got home. And poor Evan, he is like starving over here. And yeah, here he is. And he's got to use the bathroom. He's tired. He has no fun. And same for Eli. So, oh my gosh, guys, he is just overwhelmed. And he is also just exhausted because... I mean, look at his energy bar. <laughs> he did not get enough sleep from being out and partying yesterday. So he's going to grab a drink of coffee. And he's like, Dad, let me out. I'm done over here. But uh, poor Vance. He is getting so overworked. Even though Vance is exhausted, he has come out here to start making some steak and collards. And oh my gosh, this poor guy. He is literally just dying. But of course, it started to rain. So... He has left outside and he's still walking like he is in the rain. Good morning, everyone. It is Wednesday, and since Vance has had trouble getting enough sleep, I decided to go ahead and have him take the day off and use one of his vacation days so he can get some rest. And Eden has just entered the picky eater phase, so hopefully. It won't be too bad. I don't know. I've never had a child eat, enter the picky eater face, so I don't really know. I mean, she's eating what he made, which was something healthy. It was an egg white omelet, so I, I guess everything's all right for now. I also remembered, guys, that we have Spooky Fest coming up, or Spooky Day, whatever you want to call it, and so I was thinking that we should go ahead and decorate for that today. The kids are pretty excited about it and want to wear some costumes, so we are going to take care of that, and of course... Vance can't get any sleep because he's got to take care of all these kids. He's just exhausted. We also got a notification that Eden Charm is feeling very much under the weather. Better have her stay home at this point. So this poor girl is sick. So we might have to get her some medicine from the doctor to get her taken care of. Vance went and got some medicine for Eden. So she has taken that as well as been working on some extra credit assignments so that that way she doesn't miss too much while she is missing school today. It looks like Vance is busy cleaning and taking care of a few things. The toddlers are doing much better. One of them is coming to grab food. I think they both need to, honestly. But um, yeah, they are adorable. And so Vance here, I think we're going to send him out for a good morning jog just to get his blood pumping and everything since he has just been exhausted with everything that's been going on. 
I'm going to have little Eden come up here and rummage for some fall decorations. Oh, it looks like the medicine has just decided to start kicking in. So, medicated cure. So, she's got a high chance of being cured. Symptom relief. Oh, she lost a tooth. Eden is finally losing her baby teeth. Oh, that's exciting. Let's see, what fall decorations did she find? Anything exciting? Oh, she got some leaves. And she's farting in the hall. Let's see if you can find anything else. What else you got in there? We need something besides just leaves. I love that you can see how excited Eden is to be looking through the decorations. And it looks like she found some fall candles and some cards and a rooster. I don't know what the rooster has to do with fall, but anyways, that works. So I guess we will arrange a few of those. Maybe we'll try just one more rummage. Great, we found a pumpkin, that's perfect. So we'll go ahead and we'll have her come in here and take a nap and we'll get the decorations going. So we have placed several of those Halloween decorations. We've got those cards here on the coffee table as well as the candles. And then out front here we have added the pumpkin outside the door and then just these little light up ghosts for the kiddos. So yeah, Vance isn't super um, into spooky day, but you know, he's going to do what he's going to do for his kids. And little Evan and Eli have just been over here having a great conversation together. And the baby, little Eve, is happy. Eden is taking a nap because she is exhausted and hasn't been feeling well from being sick. So we have just been busy trying to help take care of everybody. But I was thinking today we might go over and visit our mom and dad. So we have arrived at Maria and Daryl's house and we have brought the kiddos along, of course, except for little Eve because she is a baby and we can't do that. Remember when we talked about Quentin Fabulous? We went on a very nice date. Oh, so Nicolette is remembering Vance. Interesting. So it looks like the kiddos are just coming to play at Grandma and Grandpa's house and oh, Maria and Daryl, they are precious. Oh, they never get old, like seriously. And oh, this house, I miss this house. It was beautiful and Vale. I forgot there is our dear Vale. And here comes little Eli to sit with Daddy. That's so cute. He wants to talk with Dada. Oh, that is so precious. Also, guys, I got a brand new um, monitor. I have a dual monitor thing going on, but for my right screen, the one that I play all my games on, I got like a gaming monitor and the color and everything and the refresh rate is just, oh my gosh, it's so much better and it is just so crisp and clear and I am loving it right now for at least what I'm seeing on my screen. But, oh, and of course, here goes Daryl making a cake. Everybody always makes cakes in this game. But Maria is so excited to see her little grandbabies. And so, okay, let's uh, let's try to brighten Maria's day. He's like, hey, Mom, how are you doing? Let's discuss a meal and give her some family advice just to try to make her laugh and smile. Oh, guys, this house is just nostalgia-ville. And... Oh, guys, we have little Bo. He is doing so well still. And we have all these photos on the wall that I really want to keep as a collection. So I don't really want these photos to disappear. So let's see. Can I rotate set filter update frame? I really want to make a copy of this. Oh, I forgot about all these photos too with Midia and Daryl. They're so precious. And the boys. Oh, and there's cute little Maria, all nice and young. Ugh, I love this family so much, guys. Seriously. Like they have just they've just grown on me so much. Maria and her four boys. Oh, look at the whole family in here together, and Daryl's just very in tune with his glasses on watching TV. But also, guys, look, his hair is brown again. I told you guys it switches all the time. But, oh, look at little Evan sitting with Grandpa, and he's kind of got a similar hair color with him. And little Eli's talking to Maria, the one he's got black hair like her. Uh, no, I'm not joining some other club, but... Uh, this is so great. I wish they could have met their Uncle Vale. Oh, I had such big plans for Vale, too, if he had survived. But now, we'll never know. 
never know. Poor guy. So it looks like Eli is sharing his excitement with Medea about the holidays, and he says, Grandma, spooky day is coming up. I'm so excited. I want to wear a costume, and I want to go trick-or-treating, and oh my gosh, and I heard that you used to get really into the holidays, and she's like, yeah, of course I did when your father was little, along with his brothers, your uncles. You know, I, I definitely got into all the holidays, but you know, now that the kids are gone, I don't have as much of a need to decorate like I used to. Little Maria, there she is. She's always baking something. She is just so cute. She's, oh, got to make something when my grandkids are here. And, of course, look what we have happening here. A mess. Typical. Maya. Oh, of course. Of course we would accept her into the fam-bam. <laughs> but, you know, she can't really come visit anyways which is sad, but she's there, even though she will disappear. Oh, poor thing. I just realized I still have Christmas lights out here. <laughs> I need to take care of that. Vance and Daryl are sitting outside, just having a good old conversation, watching little Eden swim, just having a good time. And oh, looks like Vance is feeling a bit embarrassed. He's definitely got some yellow teeth we need to take care of, but... Daryl's just like, well, son, I am proud of you with everything. You've worked very hard to be where you are. And I mean, look at this, guys. We have 557,000 simoleons, not even really trying. And that's all just because of the money trees. Crazy. And this pool is where Vale had his last moments. Nostalgia, guys. And Vance is just over here thinking about all of it and just, oh, he doesn't really know what to do. He just remembers this house. He remembers the good times he's had. He misses it sometimes. It looks like Medea has pretty much left the rooms the way that they were, except that this was Victor's room once Vincent moved out. The bathroom's still the same, and this was Dear Vale's room. Still with all of his music, his mirror. He was starting to play some instruments. Just, oh my gosh. And, oh, well, sorry, no, this was Vance's room over here, but then Victor moved in, but we still had Victor's old room over here with all his instruments and his huge grand piano. Oh, man, guys, so much has happened with this family. It really has, and it just kills me. I still can't get over Vale. Daryl, why are you just walking around in a towel in front of your grandkids? Daryl's walking around in a towel with a piece of chocolate cake. I feel that. Look at all the kids in OMG. Did you guys just see her missing tooth? <laughs> right there in the middle. Dang girl, them baby teeth really coming out. Let's get a close up. There it is. <laughs> Vance has had a pretty great afternoon over here at his parents' house. And so now the time has come to say goodbye to the grandparents. And oh, little Eli. How precious. Oh my goodness. Well, anyways, we need to definitely head home because it is getting late. And oh, there's so much activity happening out here. But no festivals that I can see. So we'll go ahead and head on home with everyone. And here come all the crew following Daddy as they all leave Grandma and Grandpa's. And Maria, girl, you gotta be cold wearing that. It's a cold evening. And this is glitching hardcore. <laughs> Oh, he's running in his crotch. Oh my gosh. This is so disturbing and creepy. So we just got a notification from Sarah saying, Hey Vance, it's me, Sarah. Do you want to go out on a date? So it looks like she is wanting to spend some time with him. She must be wanting to know how the baby is. So hmm, we'll have to find out. Also, yes, I did play for quite a while, I guess just like a day and a half off camera because they were just going to school and he was at work and so nothing really exciting happened. But um, yeah, okay, well, it looks like I must be missing some of my CC, which is fine. It looks like she's already in a row. We got all these other people. And this is a build that I did for a spa. If you guys saw earlier in season one for Mercury with Maria, this is the spa that they went to. So yeah, we are going to come in here, I think, and get a massage. So let's see, get a stone massage, get a sports massage. Hmm. 
I don't know what a sports massage is, but we'll we'll get a sports massage. How is my favorite brother? You're right. I need some. You're right. I do need something. I need some entertainment. Can you come over? I guess he can respond. He'll be like, maybe later, bro. But okay, we're hiring this guy for a sports massage. I guess we'll find out what that means. So come on, Vance. I forgot how this makes me feel super relaxed just watching them. <laughs> Man, this makes me want to massage. My aunt and my mom were just up here this last week helping me with the baby and just visiting so they could see the baby and my aunt gave me a wonderful massage because my back has been killing me since I have had my baby because I'm constantly hunched over. So yeah, I'm also been talking quiet in this episode because my little baby is asleep and it's like 11 o'clock at night and he's asleep in his crib and that's on the other side of the wall. <laughs> and so I just don't want to be too loud, you know, got to be quiet for the little guy because I want him to stay asleep and Vance, boy, you are in pain. This guy, he must be good. Oh, geez. So even though Sarah invited him, she's like not spending any time with him. Oh, wait, here she comes. I might have just lied. Let's see, is she just coming in here to talk? And he changed right back into his business suit. Interesting. Okay, well he needs to use the bathroom, so we're gonna send him on in here to use this. And it would seem that because Vance is so exhausted that he has literally passed out on a couch here at the spa. Sarah has been in here in the massage area talking to this masseuse, but also to this guy. And he has been giving her the eyes, and she's got a pouty lip, like she's sad for some reason. But look, she just keeps gazing at him. I think she wants him, but he's not accepting her flirtations. So, yeah, that's awkward. But I think we should end this date because this girl obviously wants nothing to do with Vance right now other than, you know, to have the benefits. So we're going to go ahead and end this date early. Well, I guess this is goodbye. Um, Don't call me ever. Well, girl, you're the one that invited us. She invited us and we all know it. Let's go home. So we have these people hanging out outside of our house. And oh, poor little E, we need to come to her aid. Poor baby, I will tell you guys, it gives me kind of like, I wouldn't say PTSD, but like stress when I hear this baby cry because for a second I think it's like my baby in real life and I have to like pause myself <laughs> and like listen because I'm not 100% sure. But anyways, guys, so this episode has gone on for, well, I don't really know how long. <laughs> <laughs> if I'm being honest. But we do have a Spooky Day on Saturday, so I'll probably play through Friday, and then our next episode will pick up on Spooky Day. And then, of course, our little one is going to be coming a toddler, and then we'll have another child here soon. Just a lot of good things coming up, and birthdays, and people growing older, so I am excited about that. And um, let's see, we also still need to get into two more romantic relationships, so we'll have to check out our dating pool and see what we've got. So thank you so much, Tater Tots, for joining me. And once again, I thank you guys so much for your patience with the lack of episodes these last three months since I've had my son. But for those of you that have stuck with me, thank you. And there will definitely be more episodes coming, and I should be getting right back on track schedule I was gonna say on track but back on schedule with doing my three times a week update videos for the solar system legacy challenge so thank you guys so much and I will catch you next time I keep on trying to it feels like I pretend keep on driving and driving